The most commonly asked question about pools treated with salt chlorine generators is will my pool water taste salty? The answer is usually no. Ocean water typically contains 35,000 parts per million of salt, whereas most salt generators require a salt concentration of 3 to 4,000 parts per million, about half the amount found in human tears. Salt water generators use electrolysis, water passing over the chlorine generator cell to produce chlorine. The process begins with salt in the water which passes through your pump and filter then is converted to chlorine within your generator through electrolytic conversion. The chlorinated water is then returned to the pool through the return inlets. Chlorine is the most popular pool and spa disinfectant. Its purpose is to sanitize, disinfect, and oxidize. Chlorinated pool water may contain two forms of chlorine. Free chlorine, which is still active and able to destroy bacteria and other harmful organic materials as they enter the water, and combined chlorine, which has already used up its ability to disinfect. Pools sanitized with salt chlorine generators test for free chlorine, pH, and total alkalinity using a traditional chlorine test such as AquaCheck yellow test strips. These provide an easy and reliable method of testing by simply dipping a strip into the water for one second and removing immediately. Hold the strip level for 15 seconds, then compare free chlorine, pH, and total alkalinity indicators to the color chart on the bottle label. The free chlorine test measures the available level of sanitizer in your pool water. Test your water two to three times per week and maintain a free chlorine reading of one to three parts per million. In addition to testing for chlorine, you should also test the sodium chloride or salt level in your water monthly. AquaCheck white test strips will give you a specific reading of the salt level in your water within three to four minutes. A proper level of salt will ensure that the generator is able to produce the desired amount of chlorine and keep the water free of contaminants. It is very important that you maintain your salt level within the manufacturer's recommendations for your generator to work properly. The ideal level of salt content varies according to the generator manufacturers from 3,000 to 5,000 parts per million. Salt does not evaporate from the water, but the salt level will reduce over time due to splash out, backwash, and dilution by rainwater, making it necessary to occasionally add makeup amounts of salt. Chlorine rapidly dissipates in sunlight. To help shield chlorine from the sun and slow this process, you will need to establish a level of cyanuric acid, also known as conditioner or stabilizer. Maintaining the proper conditioner level will greatly reduce your chlorine consumption. You should shock or superchlorinate the water every one to two weeks to destroy organic contaminants and combine chlorine, ensuring clean, clear water. When superchlorinating with chlorine shocks, you should achieve a free chlorine reading of 10 parts per million. You will need to test the free chlorine and be certain that the level is below 3 parts per million before re-entering the pool. This can sometimes take up to 24 hours. Non-chlorine shock treatments, or monoprosulfates, can also be used to oxidize and destroy organic contaminants. When using these shocks, you can re-enter the water within 15 minutes. Alternative sanitizers are an option that can be used to supplement your chlorine program. Mineral purifiers, ionizers, and ozonators all use minerals or ozone to destroy bacteria and algae, requiring less chemicals to keep your pool water treated. This allows you to maintain a much lower chlorine residual of 0.5 to 1 part per million, reducing your chlorine consumption by 50 to 80 percent. Let's review the basics. Add the recommended amount of salt. Once the desired level is established, test monthly and add makeup amounts as needed. Run your filter system a minimum of eight hours a day and adjust output setting on your generator to maintain a free chlorine level of one to three parts per million. Superchlorinate or shock the pool every one to two weeks with a 24 hour run or by manually adding a chlorine or non-chlorine shock treatment.